Hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome to the mental house. Y'all know what it is. I must be getting dressed. Um, so I decided to come from the museum today. <laughs> but um, I had to do this right away because this story is disturbing to me, and it always has been on so many levels. As a lot of you may or may not know, uh, Chief uh, 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 Sheriff Clark is gone. He's in uh, Virginia, I believe it is right now. There was also some investigation going on about his uh, marital uh, situation as well. And not only that, with the lawsuit, um, there was the outcome. Gosh, I even forgot to... Uh, do that video or I did it I just didn't load it up but today I'm talking about the three um oh god it it's so it's so depressing on so many levels because again like I said before I know the commander um the commanding officer as y'all a lot of y'all know I used to be a health inspector in fact, I work for the city and the county of Milwaukee, and um, a lot of these people in, I'm familiar with. So I was very disturbed by it because not only that they would be accused of something so heinous, but that they would even um, have the capabilities to even or be involved in something like that. So, because in my opinion, I, you know, they had to have forgotten. Now, what is a mystery to me, and I'm working on right now, is finding out who the other four officers was were that the charges were dismissed, but they didn't bring charges against those officers. Um, I'm curious to find out who they were and why um, the DA Chisholm decided not to bring any, uh, I think it was Chisholm that brought the charges against them. Uh, yeah. I want to know why he decided to drop him against the other one. Anyway, according to this article, let me read it to you because I'm so, oof, you know, good. A Wisconsin jail commander repeatedly lied after her officers cut off water to an inmate who later died of dehydration prosecutor said on Monday as they described a series of lethal missteps and a two-year investigation. The commander, Major Nancy Evans, yes, was one of the Milwaukee County Jail officials charged with a felony in connection with the 2016 death of the inmate, Terrell Thomas, who had no access to water for seven days before he died. The police make an arrest and they bring somebody to our custody said District Attorney John Chisholm, who prosecuted me, by the way, who announced the charges. There is a fundamental obligation to make sure that they are kept safe. Major Evans, who could face more than four years in prison, was accused of um, by prosecutors of withholding information from her superiors, lying to her superiors, Failing to preserve evidence, repeatedly lying to law enforcement investigators, and lying at the inquest. Last year, the jurors recommended criminal charges against seven people. They were all jail employees, of course. The announcement on Monday of the charges against Major Evans and two others, Lieutenant uh, Kasha Metters and James Ramsey Guy, a correctional officer came more than nine months after that inquest. A relatively rare court proceeding in which jury review evidence relating to a death and decide whether to recommend charges. The four other jail employees who were faulted by jury at the inquest are not expected to face charges, said Chisholm, but the investigation was continuing. Now that's what I'm talking about. I want to know who these four officers are and I'm going to find out. Mr. Thomas was arrested in April of 2016 and accused of shooting a man and later firing a gun inside a hotel and casino that's part of Wadami, according to a local news report. Federal 
lawsuit filed by Mr. Thomas's estate said that he had bipolar disorder and had been prescribed the medication by a psychiatrist. Once he was at the jail in the downtown Milwaukee, prosecutors said Mr. Thomas flooded his cell by stuffing his mattress covered into the toilet. And charging documents said that when uh, Mr. Thomas was moved to another cell, Lieutenant Meadows told Mr. Ramsey Guy to turn off the water supply to that cell. For the next week, Mr. Thomas did not leave his cell and was not given any water. Now, now how cruel. He was literally punished for the manifestations of his mental illness, said Eric a lawyer for Mr. Thomas's estate. Mm -hmm. He was not in his right mind. You don't take someone like that and punish them by turning off the water. After Mr. Thomas's death, prosecutors said that Major Evans had a guard watch a week's worth of security video footage of Mr. Thomas's cell, which showed that the water had never been turned back on. Prosecutor said she did not take steps to preserve that video and was eventually recorded over and deleted. Damn. No, she didn't. Ooh, Major Evans was charged with obstructing an officer, and uh, uh, which is a misdemeanor, and misconduct in office, a felony. Mr. Ramsey Guy uh, and Lieutenant Mayors were each charged with a felony neglect of a residence of a penal facility which can carry more than three years in prison. Court records did not list lawyers for Major Evans or Ramsey Guy as a Monday afternoon. Both defendants as well as Lieutenant Meadows were suspended with pay on Monday by Richard Schmidt, the acting sheriff. My God, my God. Yeah, because Sheriff uh, Clark's ass is in Virginia. Ben uh, Van Severn, a lawyer for Lieutenant Meadows, said that his client had worked at the jail for more than 17 years and had intended to plead not guilty. <laughs> we were surprised to see the charges, said Mr. Van Severn, adding we would just add caution to rush to judgment. Sarah, Sheriff Smith said on Monday that he was very confident that the jail had been transformed now by new leaders since this, uh, David Clark's ass is gone. Of course, that's my wording right there. Mr. Clark's own crime approach has lauded, which was lauded by President Trump and other conservatives, but critics said he led a troubled department and a day four inmates died at the Milwaukee County Jail in 2016 and a Wisconsin Congresswoman called for a federal investigation of that facility. Listen. Let me keep going. Asked on Monday whether Mr. Clark, who was not charged, had been investigating connection with Mr. Thomas's death, Mr. Chisholm said he believed his office the people who were most culpable. Isn't that a bitch? Sheriff Smith said that the accusation against his images were horrific and that my heart bleeds for the Thomas's family. Sheriff Smith said a decision on departmental discipline officers could be made as soon as Friday. This is serious, he said, and I care about what happened. Of course, I asked him about the person. He said, you mean that shot uh, the gun off? See, I believe, in my opinion, was behind. They were following the orders from Chief Clark. And of course, shit trickles downstream. And so, they are going to be made an example of. I cannot believe the person that I know is even capable of doing something so hideous. I can't even believe she would even do something like that. would even put up like that. But it just, I mean, Nancy is not guilty. I'm not saying any of that. All I'm saying is, the person that I know and the person that I work with and the person that, uh-uh, 
This right here, too sick. She had to be off of orders from somebody in the house. That's the only thing I could think of. Because this is disgusting. I don't feel sorry for any of them. If this is found out that this man Chips go with him. Alright you guys, I gotta go. Like what you hear, subscribe and share. And um have a safe and wonderful day. Bye bye.